get your keys to this final series because you're telling me that it starts with the stars. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Listen, without those stars, neither of these teams are going to be there. And you're talking about Steph Curry and, and, and Jason Tatum. And listen, they have incredible supporting cast. There's no doubt about it. But ultimately, the impact those two guys have, and they're going to do it differently. When you, when you look at it, Steph Curry, I mean, he's a guy that his greatest ability is to play without the basketball. He puts tremendous pressure on defenders because typically you like to guard the ball. <laughs> well, Steph doesn't oftentimes allow you to do that because of how good he is without it and how well they are at playing to his strength of playing without the basketball. They're, they're, when he's able to relocate uh, and get those screens from Draymond off on the move, he just puts a lot of pressure yeah. on the opposing and defense. And wears you out. It, it, it really does. And, and that's why, you know, Golden State's so difficult to guard. But on the flip of that, they have a guy, Jason Tatum, who is rapidly emerging as one of the very best in our league. And, you know, what I love about him is how big he is in the biggest moments. You know, he's had some, some duds this year, but after each one in the postseason, he's been able to respond in kind and play at the highest level. He's also been incredible on the road. You think about it, they just won three games in that seven-game series in the conference finals in Miami. Yeah. You know, the, the fact that they had to go and win in Milwaukee in a sixth game. So you know he is built for the moment, and then it's going to come down to whether or not he can just be big enough when they, they need him because there are going to be a few games in this series where how he plays may determine whether or not they win the title. You've told me your second key to the series is going to come in the paint. Yes. And it's interesting when you think about Golden State, they're going to play small, but they play really big on the interior. They do a terrific job of guarding the rim, not so much with shot blocking, but with bodies and rotation. And that's going to be key. And also because of the threat of the three and the fact that they invert, meaning they have their bigs on the exterior, it opens the floor up, and you're going to get a lot of opportunities to attack that rim. The difference being this is going to be the first big team that they face with the Boston Celtics. Horford and also with Robert Williams. Those guys are very mobile. They're active. They can rotate. They can cover a lot of ground. So they're going to create some air, some issues for Golden State that they really haven't seen in this postseason. And I think that's so important for Boston that they're able to maintain their size advantage because I think that is their advantage really in this series. Can they be as effective playing big? And I think they can, but Golden State's a different animal. So I'm excited to see that chess game play out as we move forward in this series. Third. You say this series Turn could come over. down to who protects the ball turnovers. each possession. And it's so funny that both teams at times struggle with turnovers. Yeah. Like in a lot of their losses, you can directly attribute it to their inability to take care of the basketball. With Golden State, I understand it because they throw more home runs. They're like a home run team. Their passing is what makes them special. Draymond is at the helm of that. They move it. They're going to take a lot of chances with their ability to move the ball. But when they do that, it creates a lot of live ball turnovers. And that's been an area where Boston, when they've been good, they've been able to get out and transition and take advantage of that. And then, so if you think about that, that's going to be really important for them. And if you flip it, it's going to be the same thing with, with Boston. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum have had some woeful struggles of taking care of the basketball along with Marcus Smart. Those three guys, they've got to be better. If, if they can't take care of the basketball, I, I don't know that they're going to have a chance in this series. And I think their coach knows that, and I think this postseason has taught them the value of valuing the basketball. You mentioned the chess match that this series will be. How important will each coach's approach be? Oh, it, it, incredible it, 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 and critical. It, and Steve Kerr's been here a lot of times as the guy that's got to make that decision. He may it, it's been in those situations, but in a different seat. It's a little bit different when you now are the guy that has final say. And I, I think he's done an incredible job of rallying these guys. But, but Steve Kerr has as well. And I think it comes down to, okay, who are you going to trust? Because there are going to be stretches where you have to play guys off the bench. And both benches for stretches have been really good. And it looks like they're going to get Gary Payton the second back for Golden State in this series. That's going to also give Steve Kerr some more flexibility in how he can match up. Uh, and similarly, when you look at this Boston team, how well Derek White has played for them off the bench. And Grant Williams, those two guys you know are going to play significant minutes. If they have the kind of impact we've seen this postseason, Boston could very well be claiming.